So I'm talking with Carl of the Seadory 25 Gigi, and um, he has got his hands on one of the Torquedo electric outboards. So we're going to take a look at it, take it out of the bag, and um, and just see what this thing can do. So it comes with this nifty bag. Manual. Ah, the motor itself emerges. It up. Wait, that happened too fast. Which is pretty easy. Just make sure you don't pinch them. Oops, and line them in before you attach it. Oh, the sections just snapped together. Ah. Yeah, they just they have. And then that's the whole thing, and then it's just got a nut on top that tightens it together. And this tensions it up, huh? Right. It's nice and tight. Okay, so what else we got here? Alright, so we got other parts. We have the battery. Ah. Okay. And it'll tell you how much charge it is if you push the button. Oh, I don't know cool. if the color's going to show up. Yeah. The light, oh, there, there we get the, so, the LEDs there. Okay, fully, almost fully charged, 80%. Yeah. Okay, so this is the little tiller, tiller and with its control. Power handle. And then the other big piece. It attaches to the transom. Okay. okay. So now we have to put it together. So it has these clamps. This is not easy. Oh, you gotta spread those jaws. Yeah, you have to spread. And this can be a lot of fun. A, you know, finger pincher. Can I hold something to help? Yeah, you can. Now, does that have an adjustable angle on there? Yeah, when, um, with this is with this loose, and, and we can okay, just right. up or down. Right. Just keep it straight for now. All right, that was really the hardest part. This one is easier. And this one being bigger slides on easier. And then this just kind of becomes uh, a science of how far you think it needs to hang since there is no set yeah, spot on it. Right. Yeah. So you could just use a marker or something and yeah. put it where you want it. Once you get it set. But what, what you can do is that it tilts. Uh -huh. So if you guess wrong, you can tilt the motor a little bit. That's pretty good. That's going anywhere. And that's. That's it. And you can just attach this part. And here. There it is. Voila. Ah. Okay. Now it's a matter of. There we go. I usually attach it to the boat first. Okay, so we've got a little mercury inflatable here. Uh, it's about seven feet. And we're going to drop the. Torquedo off the uh, transom. Now what we got to make sure we do is plug this in. Oh, that's a little Keep controller the cable. Control, yeah. Ah. And we'll this just transom. Get center. Now, is there kind of a preferred depth for the prop? Do they have guidelines for that? You know, it's 
it's just whatever uh, works best for speed. Uh -huh. Kind of play with it, and you can uh, tilt it a little bit too. Yeah, you can tilt it. Right. You want it to get. And what I have found when I used it in the past is that it's actually out of the water until you sit on it, and then it goes in. Oh, uh huh. Just at the surface. Right. Just you know, so it's not coming out. But yeah. Then we can just. Okay, and the pièce de résistance, the expensive battery. Expensive battery, you just slide it in, snaps on. You have a pin that goes through here that keeps it in. Oh yeah. And then the other thing you need. It's got a little lanyard, uh, safety lanyard. Not a safety lanyard, but just a. Pin. A key. It needs a key. Oh. And that the key no worky. Okay. Alright, so you want to ease this baby. Alright. There we go. Let me get my vest. Yeah. So I see what you mean, the blade just a little bit above the surface there. Yeah, and then with my nice weight. Sivil in there a little bit. Okay, let's get the cleat there. And then, just figure out which way wow. we're going to go. It's torquey, just like instantly starts moving. Oh, and with the flat bottom, of course. It's kind of like driving a sea dory. It just yeah, wants to, just wants to go, <laughs> go all over the place, huh? Oh, so you just turn it and it goes into reverse. It's kind of one continuous motion. Uh-huh. Boy, that throws you up a bit. That's pretty cool.